What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm going to make a quick video about Hako Trues. These switches are made by Input Club. They're supposed to feel like Topa switches, and I think it's it's not too far off. They're pretty good. Uh, so I wanted to open one up, take a look, and post the shit online. So that's it, of course. Probably can't hear it very well. It's not that loud. It's not clicky, obviously. It's a tactile, and it's a pretty cool design. It's different than uh, most MX switches. And I'll open one up and show you real quick. So I have a um, let's look at this guy, Zelio. So these are great tactile switches. They use the standard MX design, which is different than the Hakos, and that's why I wanted to uh, make this video. Um, the Hako goes off of, um, it's like a modified kale box switch. Uh, not clicky, but they use um, the same uh, case and tactile design. So. This is the Zelio. And in case you're not familiar with how these work, it has a little bump in the leg right there that creates the tactility and also activates the switch. So it pushes back this little leaf uh, and make the contact. I don't know if you can see it. So, yeah, it presses down, both creates the tactility and activates the switch. Pretty much all MX switches, as far as I know, I think all of them have the same basic concept. Um, that's a linear one, same shit, but it doesn't have that little bump like the tactile ones. So it's just, it activates it by pressing that against the leaf spring. But there's the, well, on this side, that's what creates the tactility. So, <coughs> get rid of that shit. Uh, I want to open up. Uh, well, actually, let's take a look at this. Oh, tell me if I can open the fucker. These fucking things are hard to open. There it is. So these are clicky, but same shit. Uh, I want to show it's the box, kind of the box <coughs> design. It is a rectangle, not a box. But under the hood, it's the same shit. There you go. You can see the top looks similar to the Hako or the, um, the Kale. Box white, it's that guy. But underneath, it's got the little uh, on the bottom there. The leg for the tactility and this um, separated, whatever the fuck it's called, is what makes the click. <coughs> so when you yeah, I'll put it back together.
you can see here, when you press down, it clicks. You get it. So, um, a lot of people have heard of the box whites or navies, or they're coming out with all kinds of stuff, and it's a cool design, very different than MX. <coughs> So, if you are familiar, you're probably familiar with the little spring that creates the click and is responsible for the tactility. <coughs> there, the little spring. If you look at the actual stem, you can see this guy, that little bump, that's what knocks the spring and makes the click. On the other side though, it has another bump right there. And that presses down on this. Let me see if I can get it. On video. Right. So, shit. There we go. So that actually presses this thing down. Well, that's the next thing I was going to do is open it up. So I don't know if, um, I haven't seen this before, but this is what actually activates the switch. It's got this little piece of rubber and when the switch goes down and this thing pushes that in it actually presses the contact leaf like that and activates the switch. Yeah, you can see it there. So that what that's what makes it work. So if you take away the contact or the uh, the click bar and change out that little I have an open one here. Change that out and change the shape of this thing. That's how you get the Hako true or some of the other ones. So you can see that. Let me see if I can get this up next to it. So this one's straight, if you can see. This one Yeah, right there. You can see that little bump. That's what creates the tactility. <coughs> So in this groove, the, the groove sits right there. And when you press down, uh, it has that tactile bump. I think on this thing it's a little bit harder than this guy. But I'm not 100% sure. I can't really tell, and I don't really care enough to test that shit. But under here, it's the same thing. So it just presses, oh, perfect. You can see it presses that contact leaf in. That's what activates the switch. Really cool design. Uh, the tactility is great. One interesting thing is that, unlike with other MX switches that are um, tactile, these are basically sitting and ready to be activated, meaning as soon as you press down, the first thing that happens is the um, that little button is pushed in and it activates the switch so I don't know if you can see it here but that's the bump right there so most of the next switches have some like play where it goes down a little bit then activates and I think that might be what makes it feel so similar to Topra because Topra has that rubber dome 
and you press it down and it activates there's like the instant release um, this is similar and it feels pretty close to Topra surprisingly the sound is nothing like it the bottom out is nothing like it because you're hitting plastic on plastic versus pressing down on rubber but that little bump is pretty fucking close so I really like these I haven't had a chance to test them on a board yet but I'm working on that here's my project in the making but excited to get that done and then I'll post a little video um, but it seems cool I thought it was a cool design so I thought I'd share that because I hadn't seen it like I said so uh, that's all I got.